Hi, welcome to the latest edition in my Facts About series. And we're up to King Edward VI, son of Henry VIII. And I'm going to share with you today 18 interesting facts about King Edward VI. So let's start. Number one, Edward VI was born on the 12th of October, 1537, the eve of the feast of St. Edward the Confessor, after whom he was named, although his maternal great-grandfather was also an Edward, King Edward IV, and so was his great-uncle, Edward V. Number two, he was baptised in the Chapel Royal at Hampton Court Palace on the 15th of October, 1537, in a lavish ceremony, which also included a midnight torch-lit procession of three to four hundred people from the Queen's bedchamber to the chapel. Number three, Edward's godparents were his half-sister Mary, future Mary I, Archbishop Thomas Cranmer, who also baptised him, and Thomas Howard, third Duke of Norfolk. Number four, the inscription on the portrait of baby Edward, painted by Holbein, bears an inscription in Latin composed by Sir Richard Morrison, special envoy to Cleves, which translates to, Little one, imitate your father and be the heir of his virtue. The world contains nothing greater. Surpass him and none will ever surpass you. Number five. Edward became ill with malaria in late 1541, when he was four. Apparently, when the physician asked him if he felt like he was going to be sick, Edward said, go away, fool. Number six, growing up, he was close to Jane Dormer, later Duchess of Ferrier, whom he referred to as my Jane. Number seven, in July 1543, when he was five, Edward became betrothed to Mary, Queen of Scots, who was less than a year old at the time. They got betrothed by the terms of the Treaty of Greenwich. The Scots later went back on the terms of the treaty, and this led to the War of Rough Wooing between England and Scotland. Number eight, Edward was close to his stepmother, Catherine Parr, calling her his mater charisma, or dearest mother. Number nine, those involved in Edward's education included Dr. Richard Cox, John Cheek, Roger Ascombe, and Anthony Cook, all evangelical reformers. Edward showed himself to be a motivated and intelligent boy. Number 10, Edward was crowned king at Westminster Abbey on the 20th of February, 1547. A coronation usually took 12 hours, but it was cut down to seven hours for the young king. Number 11. Edward was the first monarch to be anointed as supreme head of the English church at his coronation. Number 12. Edward never reached his majority and so never reigned by himself. His government was headed first by his uncle, Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset, and then by John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland. Number 13. The Book of Common Prayer was first authorised in Edward's reign in 1549, and then revised in 1552, and then again in his half-sister Elizabeth I's reign. Number 14. Edward knew his own mind. And in 1550, at the confirmation of Bishop Hooper, Edward crossed out all reference to saints from the Oath of Supremacy. Number 15. Although he'd always been close to his half-sister Mary, they had a difficult relationship during his reign due to her refusal to abide by his religious legislation. She defiantly continued to celebrate the Mass. Number 16. In 1552, 14-year-old Edward fell ill with measles and smallpox. It's thought that this bout of illness severely compromised his immune system, so he just couldn't fight off what was thought to be tuberculosis in 1553. Number 17. 
In his device for the succession, Edward skipped over his half-sisters, Mary and Elizabeth, explaining that they were incapable of inheriting the crown because they were half-blood. He also ruled out the Scottish Stuart line. In the final version, he chose Lady Jane Grey, granddaughter of Mary Tudor, Queen of France, as his heir. Number 18, the final interesting fact. King Edward VI died on the 6th of July, 1553, at Greenwich Palace. And he was buried on the 8th of August at Westminster Abbey. Now, I'm sure you knew quite a few of those, but I hope I surprised you with a few that you didn't know. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there and you can hit the bell to make sure that you're notified when my videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Now I'm sure you know, you knew blah 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 blah.